What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Hey, everybody. Hi. Oh, my God. Great to see you. So it's your girl, and I'm back for another video. This one is going to be a get ready with me. I'm trying out some new products from a website that I already brought to you guys featured in my channel, which is She Glam. I talked about this website before. They're like a rose gal to me. They sell clothes, they sell household, they sell shoes, they sell purses, they sell sunglasses, and they also have their own makeup line, which is She Glam. Very affordable. Not everything is like 100% catered to women of color, such as like the foundation, or like the pressed powder. But if you're like a certain shade, you might be able to get away with some things. I'm more on a lighter selection, so the dark brown pressed powder works for me, even though we know I'm not a dark brown complexion. So that's the reason why I'm telling you guys, you may be able to get away with it depending on your shade. If you're a darker complexion, you may not be able to find foundations and pressed powders, but girl, you can find everything else. Even concealers, you know, when we do concealers for like highlighting, we always tend to go shades lighter. So you can definitely get some concealers depending on your skin complexion but I'm liking their products especially their um, eyeshadow palettes they're really affordable and they're so cute scale of 1 to 10 would I rate their eyeshadow palettes I would have to definitely give them like a seven to a seven and a half because they're affordable and they are somewhat pigmented very pigmented depending on the color that you choose you know what I'm saying I have three today to show you guys amongst a whole bunch of other stuff that they sent me except for my foundation on this side girl let me tell y'all first of all you know I was talking about this derma derma blend foundation that I love I love it like I loves it and the color that I have is the 43W. Well, a girl has got a tan. I've gotten darker. When I put this on today, I was so ghostly pale. Now I have to blend it with something. So I did use this Milani, which I got this on clearance at Target like months ago. And I ended up paying $4.48 for it. But I have it in the color natural tan. So it worked well with this one. I had to blend them. You know, I just really don't want to buy anything else makeup wise now with my own money like if you want to send me some free shit then let's go ahead and send me some free makeup all day long but i'm not really into spending my money except for like the subscription boxes and i think i'm about to stop doing those too i think i have like enough makeup to wear i'm not really in need dyer's need desperate need for any more makeup for a while all the different eyeshadow palettes blush palettes highlights even if it's a different brand the colors all start looking the same anyway. I think the only thing that I would probably want to spend money on is lashes. And even I can get those from the Dollar Tree that are really cute. Stay tuned for the video that I do have of some really nice Dollar Tree lashes. I should have been doing that shit. So here I am looking a little ghostly pale, okay? Listen, I'm not really sure what's going on with this eye on my face, but bags are real. And regardless of what I do, there is nothing that is working for me. I know this is probably from months and months and months of crying because my son passed away. But girl, can I please just get a break now? You know what I mean? I just, I'm trying. I'm really trying. But other than that, we're going to get into this. So let's get this popping. I already went ahead and put my foundation on. I also did my eyebrows. Today was a good day. I Like seriously, it took me like four minutes to do these brows. I'm just going to show you the products as I use them. But first things first, girl, let me put on my new earrings. You see they came in a plastic bag, okay? These were $1.59 from the beauty supply store. I spray a little bit of the acrylic clear spray on it, like spray paint clear acrylic, and they last a longer length of time. A girl liked the earrings at the beauty supply store. They're cute. They're affordable. Last month when I did a video for them, I was using one of their concealers, um, and there was a couple of concealers that they sent me one of them was called i think it was like a fair complexion or light i'm not really sure but it was really pale so i ended up using that as a eye eyeshadow concealer just to you know make my eyeshadow stick and pop the one concealer that i did like which was their product is this color here which is ginger let me tell you guys about this concealer this concealer is really bomb like i'm I, i'll tell you guys that this is a really good concealer it dried like you know it, it dried really good it had a good coverage you know you definitely want to like allow it to sit for a few days excuse me for a few days you want to allow it to sit for a few minutes then you want to like blend it in but i did like the concealer a lot i decided to get a different one this time like a different color this is the creamy concealer and this is in the color medium and i also did get these two these are the eye candy pro long wear concealers so these are a little bit different from the other one the creamy one you could tell by the box the colors that i got was greenland the color is called greenland 
okay? Like Greenland, Greenland number 203, and I don't even know how to pronounce this, Van you a shoe, Van you two, I don't know, 204. I'm not really sure what color that is in the Crayola box. Do come in one of these tubes. Now I don't know which color is which. Um, the one thing that I'm not feeling about this particular product is once you toss the box away, you don't even know what color you have anymore. Like there's no name on this packaging anywhere that tells you what color you have purchased. They don't really look that much similar in color if you're looking at here and here. They're definitely off in color. So is this one here. They're definitely off in color. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the fact that once you toss the boxes out, you don't know what color you got. So they come in a tube. There's no brushes or anything like that. This one is darkest one, which looks like it'll be like a good highlight for underneath my eyes. And here we have the lightest shade. Also looks like it'll be a good color for me. I do like it to be a little bit light. And then we have the medium one, which is their creamy concealer. Kind of looks like they all are almost in the same shade family. First concealer I'm going to use is going to be the first one that I got, which is the ginger. And brush it underneath here. This is what I do. Do a spot check on certain areas. I'm going to take this one, which is a lighter one, and I'm just going to use this for my eyes. Just going to use it for my brows. Why do I feel so I'm freaking prepared for this video today? Kind of like clean up my brows because I really don't want to pluck them too much. This is not a bad color for my brows, so I would have liked it a little bit more neutral looking. The one thing though that I do like about this um, concealer of theirs, it's not too runny, it's not watery, so it's not watery. This is the type of texture consistency I prefer. This makes it a lot easier to blend. And the contacts that I have on, I actually did a video haul on four pair of contacts. So I will have that video up soon. Tide eye, something like that. I'll link it below, but they do have some nice contact lenses. You don't want to wear them every day and for long periods of time because they're not fitted, they're not prescribed to your eyes. So what ends up happening in happening with contacts that are cosmetic they will suck the oxygen out of your eyes which will give you like little tiny indents on your eyeballs like golf balls and that will mess up your vision i went to the optometrist because my eyes were red and burning and this is all due to the cosmetic contact so you don't want to wear them for long periods of time the color did blend in good i'm just going to pop a little bit more on my actual lid and i don't really use eyeshadow primers anymore it's the same stuff it works all the same the concealer whatever i'm not gonna spend like a whole bunch of money on stuff hmm, that kind of like does the same type of work now for the lighter part you know i do like it to be lighter here i think i'm gonna use this one here so this is what i'm going to use under my eyes which is their medium Medium brown, creamy beige, medium. It's just called medium. It ain't even called medium brown. So I do like a little bit of lightness underneath. Then I'm going to blend it in with this one here. With I think it was called, um, I don't even know. This gives me like a yellowish kind of tone, my undertone. So, But honestly, there's really not much of a difference in these colors. So I'm finding that these two here are kind of similar in color. So for my contour, I'm going to be using this right here, which is by Too Faced. I got this in my BoxyCharm box. And this is the Chocolate Gold Soleil. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Okay, but I love Too Faced. I love their packaging. This is so freaking cute, okay? And the color that I have is Soleil. Okay, I think that's what it's called. So they did send me three different eyeshadow palettes. I told you guys they have some really cute eyeshadow palettes. And these are the three in the collection. These are actually really, really cute. The Beach Sunset. So they all have names and themes. Everything is like packaged so well, like overly packaged, okay? So I had to open up everything. It took me like 30 minutes. Comes with a mirror. Nine colors in each one. This is the Beach Sunset palette cool tones, maybe a couple warm tones in there. The palette works great. I did try it out prior to this video. Desert palette, which um, is my favorite. And it comes with the plastic. Unfortunately, this one came to me crushed to these, but I still use them. And these colors, are, this one here is my favorite color, which is called Mars Blossom Palette. Very pretty colors, very playful colors. I'm not really seeing anything that I would use as like my base. 
except for the Casablanca and this palette right here, which would be at the bottom. Their concealer blends seamless. Like I love their concealer. I just don't like the color spectrum. Product itself as in blendability is great. Okay, like seriously, it's a really good product. It did send me some translucent powders and setting powders. I have a perfect setting powder, which is a dark brown and it's very light. And then I have just a makeup powder. So not really translucent, kind of like a setting powder. So just to set this, I'm going to be using my Airspun. Love this stuff. I've been using this for years. Really cheap. You can find it at any drugstore. Don't use a lot. There's like three different colors. You don't need a lot of it, you know. I don't put it directly under my eye because it'll give me like that dry look and I don't let it bake for too long. Like that's enough. I even put some here like I put some here. And it's just air spun. This has been around for decades, guys. At first I didn't really care for the smell too much. It kind of reminds me of like an old white lady. To warm my eyes up, I always just like to go in and use my pressed powder. I like it to look just neutral as possible. So I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me. And the color that I have is the Warm Sun. And it's just gonna bring back a little bit of warmth through my eyes. Hope you guys are having a really great day. Despite all this bull crap that's going on, like listen, I am over 2020 so much. Like for real, I'm over it. This is June, this is the month of June. And if I get this video out by Friday, you know, I'm just trying to really be positive with my life and myself. Only because look, this is the month of June. This is my son Wuzzle's birthday month. His birthday is June 12th. He would have been 22 years old. And then mine follows exactly a week behind, which is on the 19th of June. So his birthday is this Friday. And hopefully I get this video out by then um, because I just don't really like to be behind. But for Saturday on the 13th of June, we will be celebrating his birthday with his favorite color balloons, um, which is purple and gold. He was like the hugest Kobe Bryant fan ever so i will be getting purple and gold helium balloons i'm gonna get 22 of those and also fireworks i also have fireworks that i'm going to be you know popping off and we're going to be doing some cooking you know like grilling like just like a little get together with some of his really closest friends and his girlfriend and my family so we will be doing that this saturday on the 13th as for my birthday, I'm not, honestly, I'm not really in the mood to celebrate it only because my son is not here and we just would celebrate it together. And I honestly, I'm just not in the celebration mood. I've had 45 birthdays. So this birthday number 46 is, listen, been there, done that. I'm over it. So this gave me some warmth to my eyes, as you guys can see. I, I love to use my pressed powder because you know me, guys. I don't really like like that over made up look. I don't really care for too much eyeshadow. I'm definitely not a makeup artist, so I do what I can to myself. I'm not about to sit here and act like, oh yeah, I could do everybody's makeup because it's not about to happen. I'm just gonna brush this off. For the eyeshadow palette, I'm still on the fence of what colors to use. This sunset, this beach sunset would be a great one to start with. I'm not really sure about the blossom palette. I'm thinking I'm going to start off with this one here, which is the desert palette. And I'm going to go into this color right here called Casablanca. And I'm just going to plop that into my crease. And I got a cute new brush from my BoxyCharm. I'm going to be using this color right here, which is the Casablanca. And I'm just going to go in lightly with it. And I do like the mirrors that come with it because they're nice size. They're very clear. Ugh. The whole freaking color came out. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. The whole pan fell out. Oh my God. Hold on, guys. Wow. Like that really sucks because the color is so pretty. I, I was able to scrape up some, but it got all over my freaking polo shirt and it's white and on, on my rug. Like, like I was saying, I do like the mirrors, but... Oh my God, I hate when I get an eyeshadow palette and one of the eyeshadows are messed up. Like this was such a Debbie Downer because that cover was so pretty. Like I'll really have to dig into the fucking brim of it just to get the eyeshadow out. But this Casablanca color is gorge, okay? Look how, hello. This is like some really good concealer. And let me tell you guys, I be having an issue with concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers, which is by CoverGirl. And this is their True Blend. It is 
thicker undercover. It's thick and it dries really quick. And I like it for right here. But let me tell you, you cannot put a lot with that. And you definitely have to hurry up and blend it. I can't use a lot of it especially for my under eyes. So I like like certain concealers and I do like She Glam's concealer a lot. I could have used the Blossom palette. This color right here would have been perfect, which is okra. I think that's how you would say it. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about a lot of things right now. For my lid color, I'm not gonna go into anything dramatic cause you guys know how I feel about dramatic. I am feeling this Blossom palette and I do like this gold right here. And then I also like this one next to it, which is called Venus. It gives like reflections of like a gold. Ooh. So this is what the gold looks like. Very, very gold. Look at that. This is nice for a cheap palette. The one next to it, which is Venus, is it gives us reflections of a gold and a pink, if you guys can see. It's just really pretty. I think I'm going to do the gold. Oh, and this bronzy color is nice too. I'm not really sure which color I want to use now. Let's try the gold out first. So see, the colors come out pretty good and decent. And this color I'm using is called Daisy. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this gold color because for some strange reason, I don't like gold on my eyelids. I don't even use this color gold as a highlight, probably because I'm already like a yellowish tone. So I feel like putting gold and yellow on my skin at times just clashes. When I do do gold, it's more or less like a champagne gold. For some reason, feeling like I should try the bronzer color in the palette, which is this one here, because I love colors like this. Like, And I'm just going to see if this will go on top of it and make it up just a little bit Okay, this is working out. I, I'm liking this. Not so gold. Yes, I like this. Okay, so this color is working out for me. I wasn't really feeling the whole gold thing. I'm gonna go back into the desert one. And I'm going to go to this broken one here, which is called Mars. So this is what the Mars one looks like. Right here on my little finger. Just want to see how this looks over top of it. I told you guys I'm not a makeup artist, so that's the reason why I'm putting color on top of color. Yeah, I'm really liking this thing. Yeah, I look a little bit sparkly right now, but you know, once you put the lashes on that they sent me, and you know, it, it comes together. For my brow highlight, there is a color in here that's a matte color, and I don't really like too much glitter. So this one is called Twilight. It's really pale. I don't know guys, might be a little bit too light. I could definitely fix that. And what I'll fix it with is a damn. Okay, so now that I got the eyeliner on, sometimes, like I said, it's a struggle. I do have some eyelashes from them. I did try the ones that they gave me the last time. They were really big. These ones I did get a little smaller. These are the 3D eyelashes. These are faux mink, of course, they're 3Ds. And they're, you get three pairs of lashes. So they're exactly the same, all three pairs. And they're really cute. You get three pair. I can't really remember the numbers, or, excuse me, the amount. But I'll definitely link everything below for you guys. I'm just hoping that the band is not so thick. My lids are really hooded, my eyelids, so I don't do a lot of different type of eyelashes. And I'm just going to be putting on the duo lash strip. I'm not that great at putting lashes on either. Now I'm going to just spray my face down a little bit with this by Smashbox. I love this stuff. Gets the dry look off of my face. And then I'm just going to conceal certain spots. I'm just going to use theirs which is this one here, that medium color. I'm then going to use this here, which I'm gonna use as a contour. Normally I'll use a foundation, but this color seems like it'll be okay. This smells so freaking good. And it gave me just a little bit of color. Of course, I'm gonna blend it in. Mm, tastes kind of good too.
Okay, so the lashes are not bad. I like the way they kind of like go from the slanted look. So I ended up having to take a pair off, one off, only because um, I had it mispositioned. And I'm just blending this in. Once I put my foundation, excuse me, my pressed powder, it'll look much better. You won't see any lines, but I didn't want any lines on it as it is. Okay, so that is the best that I can get them because it's still kind of wet. And I'm not going to take them off again, but... Now, here's the kicker. The pressed powders that they sent me, I'm kind of nervous and scared to use them because what if they're not my color? And then I just did this whole look. I do have a setting powder and then I do have a makeup powder and they're both a dark brown. But I also have my own on backup. This is the light and delicate setting powder. This comes in one of these little tubes, really chic, you know what I'm saying? Comes with a puffer pad and it also comes with the diffuser and you just want to peel it off. Then, let's see here. The makeup powder, I'm not really sure what's the difference. Makeup powder, setting powder, I guess one is supposed to set, one is just not. The makeup powder comes in this white box and it says She Glam. And this is the makeup powder. It also comes with these, this as well. But this one is a little bit different. You just want to pop this top off and then it has like this paper over it, which you definitely want to remove. And it's like a spongy type of feeling. I don't know. This is definitely too white. This is dark brown. Do you see that? That's very, very light. This would be like a good highlight powder underneath. So I'm not going to be able to use this one. For the setting powder, I'm thinking like they're in the same color scheme. So let's see. This might work. Damn, it's hardly anything coming out. Whoa. Definitely not my day. Definitely not. Ooh. <sighs> Hold on, guys. Can I say this? This has been the most messiest makeup freaking video I've ever done. Totally over it right by now. So I'm going to try to use this setting powder, which is like, it seems like it's going to be. Let's see, because I'm not having that much of a great look today. And I'm just using a very little, because I don't want it to be too... This is working out. Oh yeah. Okay, so the dark brown in the setting powder is working out for your girl. Okay, so this worked out for me. But as for the other one, it it's really too light. But I'm pretty sure I can use it like in this area. Let's see how it'll look. I know I'm I'm really pushing it. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm, I'm not going to go in any further than what was on this little puff. For my bottom lashes, I only use one particular product, which is the MAC 3D. I'm gonna try out their highlights, okay? They do come in these cute packaging, and some of it is kind of like a knockoff kind of design. This one here is their Clear and Bright Liquid Blush Slash Highlight, and this is the color 102 in Luster. Comes in these cute little boxes, and these actually have the names on the bottom. Reminds me of the Fenty brand, the same shape, okay? This color here is like a peachish nude, which, this is too light for me today. I would probably use that as a blush, but it's very pale. The next one I'm gonna go to, I have three of these. Color called Dolce Vita. Pinkish blush. Pinkish blush color. Which normally would be my color for a blush too, but I don't really like liquid wet blush. I can do the highlight, but not the blush. This one here is the last one, and this one is the one I'm gonna use. And this one is called Diamond and Glitter. It's almost barely noticeable, and I think it has to do with my skin tone. This one I'm going to dab on my nose area. See that? It's very sheer almost. Not too bad, but you want to be careful when you're doing like a highlight where that's liquid because I noticed that sometimes they start to get a little blotchy.
this be something like I would wear during the daytime if I if I want some highlight but not a lot I'm gonna put something else over top of it because it's not like the look that I wanted like girl I want something that's really gleaming this is their face palette powder this is also a blush in the color seduction it's an ombre kind of color you can see it goes from lighter to darker and I'm just gonna take a little bit put it on the apples of my cheeks just to, you know, give it a little bit of color. And these blushes are really pigmented. I did get this other one from them last month and it looked just like a Fenty packaging, but it was so pigmented and I couldn't wear it. It was just very dark. So it gave my roses, my cheeks, a little bit of color, and this is in Seduction. Really affordable, their blushes are actually good, but I'm gonna be using one of my favorite highlights. I'm gonna use a different highlight for this video. And this one I was gifted from Octoly um, in exchange for an unbiased review. There's no way that I would ever give this brand a bad review because I love this makeup brand like by far which is Becca Cosmetics so this is the highlight color in rose quartz I use Becca Cosmetics highlights on a daily basis this is one of my favorites and like I said I did get this gifted to me through Octoly and I've already used this actually I like Becca Cosmetics a lot see not too much of a highlight but just like a daytime highlight I like brought out the color a little bit in that pink and now for the lips okay definitely check out Becca Cosmetics I have several different lipsticks that I was sent and glosses this one here is the eye oh eye candy double touch matte lip gloss I'm not really sure why it's called eye candy but it's double matte lip gloss and the color that I have is dusty rose so on one end it's clear so it has a brush which is great because my lips was dry as F. And then this color here. So this one is the Dusty Rose. And I'm not really going for that pink color. So this is the Dusty Rose. And I do like their lipsticks. They are really nice. Then the next one I have is called Blossom. Same concept. This is probably a little bit lighter. It is. This is the Blossom. Just a shade lighter, but I still don't want that color for today, girl. I do have three lipsticks from them. One which I wore in a recent video, which was called Ruby Red, and it's a knockoff of the MAC. They come in these containers, and they're really chic. You can push the button on the top, and it comes out. I'm not really sure what this color was. It's a coralish mauve color, which is my color, girl. And then also, I'm probably am going to put this one on because it kind of goes with the look. This one here is called, so the first one that I used was called Milk Tea. This one is called Classic Red, which is a bright red, same concept. I like the way they did this. This is a very bright red. This is not the one that I had on the other day. I don't do the bright reds like this. The one that I had on the other day, I was happy because I finally found me a red that I could wear. This is the Ruby Red. It's a darker shade, okay? This color is nice. I like the packaging and all. I'm gonna use the Milk Tea one. I, I like this look. Mm, made me look a little bit paler like a Barbie. For She Glam, this is the final look, girl, okay? So take a picture, snap a shot of it. This is the final look using affordable, cheap makeup, okay? You guys, I will post all of She Glam's information in the description box below, along with Octoly's Becca Cosmetic, you know what I'm saying? And on that note, I gotta go. That's to do another video. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this look. Have you ever tried she, Sheen or She Glam makeup? But yes, you guys, I love you, and I'll see you soon. Get them, spin them, unless I'm not the dental. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.